Hello and welcome to The Dish with Liz. My name is Liz Rodriguez. I'm a registered dietitian here to offer nutritional solutions to your most pressing questions. So let's get right to it. Sheila from Northeast Pennsylvania wrote and she asked this, what is the best macronutrient ratio for someone with chronic fatigue? Hi Sheila, thank you for submitting this question. I'd like to start by providing a little background information. So let's define macronutrient, which is a nutrient required in the human diet in large amounts, otherwise known as carbohydrate, fat, and protein. Now technically, water is also a macronutrient because we require it in large amounts, but it doesn't contain any calories. Fat, on the other hand, provides nine calories per gram whereas protein and carbohydrates provide four calories per gram. And to give you a comparison, alcohol, which is nutrient poor but calorie dense, contains seven calories per gram. Micronutrients, on the other hand, are required in small amounts in the human diet. These are things like vitamins and minerals. Now in the American diet, we tend to put a lot of emphasis on the macronutrients, and meanwhile we neglect the poor little micronutrients. When in reality, the biggest issues I've seen with people not getting enough macronutrients is when they're overly restricting one of those, in which case the body may compensate by overeating. However, since one out of every three Americans is obese and two out of every three Americans is overweight, macronutrient deficiency is relatively uncommon. But what isn't uncommon is micronutrient deficiencies of vitamins and minerals. In fact, most people have a micronutrient deficiency, which can actually mimic radiation in the body, resulting in DNA damage, oxidative lesions, or both. This is why micronutrient deficiencies are a plausible explanation for the association between a low intake of fruits and veggies and cancer. Sheila, I'll admit, I don't get too caught up on calorie counting, macronutrient ratios, or percentages. In fact, I find that's a wild goose chase for most people. Rather, I have four simple steps to help you obtain an adequate amount of macro and micronutrients. First, you want to consume a varied diet of whole foods only. This means no processed junk or artificial ingredients. By doing this, you will easily meet your macronutrient or carb, fat, and protein needs. Secondly, ramp up the produce in your life. Plants are a nutrient-rich source of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. The brighter the colors, the more micronutrients you consume. Thirdly, get a micronutrient test to determine your deficiencies. Most people have nutrient deficiencies. This is not just a problem of developing nations, and this is due to our ever-changing food supply. However, when you know what your deficiencies are and you can supplement and replenish those deficiencies, a number of pesky symptoms can improve and even resolve. I highly recommend using SpectraCell's micronutrient test to get a look at the nutrient status within your cells. And lastly, you'll want to take the necessary supplements to correct or prevent any nutrient deficiencies. In addition to the micronutrient testing, you'll want to have regular lab work done every six to 12 months to monitor levels of vitamin D, calcium, iron, magnesium, zinc, or any levels that tend to run low for you or are relevant to your diet. Sheila, the bottom line is that by nourishing your body and your cells with nutrient-rich whole foods, you'll be fueling your body with high quality sources of energy. This can only help when dealing with fatigue. The key is to get yourself out of a vicious cycle of feeling tired, choosing foods that are quick and convenient, yet macronutrient rich and micronutrient poor, without the best nourishment and therefore leaving you feeling tired and unmotivated. This is tough because it means breaking out of current patterns, preparing meals from scratch or at least from a few ingredients, and waiting for the energy to follow. However, this is the best long-term solution to beat or at least manage the fatigue. Now I'd like to hear from you. What tricks do you have to share with Sheila for increasing micronutrient consumption? I know you know, so I look forward to reading your comments below the video. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. Be well, be wise, and most importantly, take care of you.
Hey, all you empowered people out there, if you're looking for more guidance in making healthy food choices, I invite you to sign up for my eight-week home training program, The Complete Nourishing Wisdom Shopping Strategy. Check it out at www.eatyourveggies.com backslash products.